So I've got to do this cool tutorial on how to make, I just have to run over here, a Papa Paws, like so. It's got everything in it and everything up. And I know it's not the greatest house, it's just a proof of concept. So it's also just these two command blocks. And you might also want to type in this command right above where you plan to put your command blocks. So it's slash ticking area and then add circle. Then do uh, tilde, 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 and then one. Now you can name it whatever you want. So I already have my named, but I'll just type in a name for you. Say house. Then do true. And when you do that, you'll get your house. I can't, I'm not gonna do it because I already have it done. But when then the way to check that you have it is you do list and I have a few that are probably there so like uh, warp is my other my warp pipe one that's for like the Mario warp pipe one and then this one's just a pop-up house I know you can't see my cursor I wish I could figure that out maybe able to figure that out in a second but but the thing you have to do is you have to type in this command so it's slash execute and then you do positioned as is the option that you choose and then you'll do at e now the execute command will run a command at this position and it will well this is the option you're choosing is you're gonna run it as the position at the position of the entity I know that sounds complicated so the idea is you're gonna run it say where this is this will be named pop-up house but I also renamed the hand armor stand thinking it would actually rename it it didn't so you're gonna run it at the position of the entity you're looking for. So say if I typed in at A, it would just be at all players. But you have these things called entity selectors, well type selectors. Uh, first off, just you choose at E, just so you can get all entities, because anything else has to be a player. But at E has options like well, everything has the option of name, and you you check for the name of Papa House. This is so you can differentiate between a, a regular armor stand over here, and then the Papa House one. It won't do this, but it'll do that. I know it tore a hole in the wall. That's just because it cloned into it. That's so it can def differentiate which one's happening. It's only the the entity with the name Papa Paws. Then you also have to type in this type equals armor stand. Because if you don't, it can be any entity. That could be, uh, what was it, a pig, a player, zombie, anything. So once you do that, you'll just run the clone command. And then you'll clone the position of your actual object. So if this is your object you're trying to clone. You'll cl you'll find the coordinates of it and you actually use like the actual coordinates of the uh, building, not the not the relative cuz it's running it as the um, armor stand, which means the relative coordinates are going to be where the armor stand is. but you can use the relative for when you're placing the house down because that's where you want to place it. You can move it minus five and then minus five. I'd probably move it to minus two. So I'm not 
too far. And I know it looks like I'm just spamming my world with houses. I can easily break these down. So, we're just going to name this. And as you can see, much better placement, more towards where I wanted it. So, once you've got all of that done, once you've got the clone command in, you will just run a kill and then you'll kill the uh, the armor stand with the name Papa House. And that's all the command is. That's all this is. That's so you don't keep spamming the world. Because if I didn't have that, I can just turn that off for a second, just to show you. If I just did this, and if I punched, it is a good way to keep it broken, but you can never basically enter. And then it does exist here forever until you either break it or you kill it. That's why you can just kill it. Now that's why you have it killed. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and have a good day. Bye.